everybody and welcome to the free show I tell you I was gonna come on here and I was gonna try to get this last field harvested this is our last field to harvest the spelt field and it was showing that it was gonna rain around 6 p.m. about three hours from now well the rain has started so we're not gonna get this field harvested I'm going to collect the straw that we do have down and get that in the silo. Done some updates to the server. And uh, we need to buy our planter again because it's vanished. Apparently they renamed the planter when I updated the mod and it caused it to vanish out of the save game. GoldenEye, Caleb, Sammy Boy, Peanut, what is up? Will... Rabbit Rob, how are you all doing tonight? Oh my gosh, seriously? I don't know what is going on. Caleb, thanks. Diesel, what is up? Now we're going to hold a whole bunch of sink and uh, thinking in the textures. I'm back. Hello. He's live now, so I see that. Uh, and the game blew up on me, so I'm shooting back in. Oh, did it? I put a little message in chat in the uh, YouTube chat for you there, Klein. For you, Goldeneye and Sammy Boy. <laughs> <laughs> that was so last week, Goldeneye says. <laughs> that was last week. Yeah, I was going to be vicious last night, Klein. I was going to boot you from your own server just for paybacks, but. <laughs> hey, I, I come on and Raz says, someone should put these on timeout. Or spam and heck yeah. So I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> but he's the one that told us to do it. <laughs> well, he's maybe it's like an alternate personality. He just forgets. Yeah. So guys, I put a poll up in chat. I have no idea what it looks like for you. For me, I just see yes, 94%. Basically, it is asking the question, are you hyped? Farm Sim 22. So it was a new feature. So I thought, what the hey, let's try it out. See, Peanut's backing me up. He's like, yeah, that definitely happened. Well, yeah, but that was because Raz said, everybody make it rain, heck yeahs. And I filled that whole page up with heck yeahs. <laughs> I like that button. That button works good. What? <laughs> I, I, I lost a whole load of straw. Oh, really? Yeah. Before the game crashed, I had a load of straw. When I booted up in here, the load of straw is empty. Yeah, when I saw you pulling in there, it was full. Yeah. Now that you know what happened sucks. to our wind rose when it rained a little bit. <laughs> yeah. They disappeared quick in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I didn't, 
I didn't get a chance to unload it. It's just poof, they're gone. <laughs> All load. Mm hmm. <laughs> that, that's an interesting uh, turn of events. Do you even still have a windrow in there? Yeah, I got I got what's left. Oh yeah, I see it popping in there. Uh if you're not wearing it the same time zone. So I was going to run the Mazda in a production car challenge too, but yeah, apparently I don't have that track. So I'm like, eh, no. Oh, the Fanatec challenge? Uh, the production car challenge? Oh. I don't know, is, is it sponsored by Fanatec? That might be. I don't know. They're at, I they're think at, there's a few different Mazda ones. They're at Interlagos, the Brazilian track. It looked fun. Yeah. I remembered running it, but I remember running it in F1, 2019 oh. and 2020. Yeah. Because I, I booted it up this morning to run some practice laps, and it's like, you don't own the track. I'm like, oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, I was going to do the same thing, and it was like, uh, this week and next week are both tracks I don't own, so. Yeah, I've been just doing the Vs. <laughs> Yeah, I'm having fun with the for the yeah. little bit of time I can put into it for now. Yeah. So now we're just going to have to, uh, we're going to have to buy our planter again, but thankfully the bank is willing to put forth the money to, uh, replace what we have, uh, lost. Am I the only one that lost that planter? I think so. Yeah, I think you were the only one that owned it. We we don't have enough money yet. Ooh, eight hundred and seventeen. It's not the best price for milk, but I might as well sell it. Eight seventeen. All right, let's let's hope in let's hope in 22 we can we actually have raindrops on our windows like ATS that would be cool right So I took everybody's comment from the questions to ask at FarmCon thread and I went and submitted those to Giant. So if you sent a question in, you can uh, look forward to FarmCon's 
Q&A. Hey everybody and welcome back to Susquehanna River Valley. We are here and it is raining. I was telling folks on the pre-show that I was going to try to get our field of spelt over there harvested today, but not going to happen. It started raining right after we started working on that field, so we're not going to get that done. Quick Street Sims, well, thank you very much. We've got our FS22 release countdown timer up there. We're going to have that up there for, well, the next 147 days, I guess. Counting down when Farm Sim is going to drop. As I was telling folks in the pre-show, I uh, updated the server and updated custom modding's case planter, their big case air seeder planter. And when I did that, my uh, planter vanished from my garage. They must have changed the name of the uh, of the planter. And as such, it uh, it didn't appear in my inventory anymore. So we got to go up and buy another one. Now, thankfully, the bank is going to front us the money, so that we are a net net wash with that expense. Well, Quick Street, I am looking every day for the collector's edition to make its way up on Amazon. As of so far, it is not on the American Amazon site or the U.S. Amazon site. In fact, none of the games, none of the versions of Farm Sim are up on the U.S. Amazon site. My understanding is it's shown up on some other countries, Amazons, but not the U.S. one yet. I'm hoping it'll show up next week. And speaking of Farm Sim, anyone interested in pre-ordering that hasn't done so yet, there are referral links down in the description. I've seen it also for sale over on GameStop's website, Walmart, and Target. So those are all up for pre-sale also of physical copies. So it's only a matter of time before it shows up on Amazon. DB, what is up? DB in the house. William Ryder, thank you for the sub. Big old round of applause for William. Four day weekend, that sounds great. Stellaris, Stellaris gets, gets a, uh, it gets confusing fast. And I have to tell you, their tutorial sucks. It's just a steaming pile of shit. That's what it is. Their tutorial expects you to already know how to play the game. Their idea of a tutorial is waiting for you to click on a button and then it tells you what it does. Not necessarily what you should do next.
So, yeah, I mean, if you know how to play the game, right? Then you don't need this stinking tutorial because you've played 4X strategy games enough that you kind of get the principle. But it can get overwhelming very fast if you are new to the whole genre. Just like, uh, just like, I mean, just like Civ. Lucky 7 RCN. Big ol' round of applause for coming a farm boss. Man, I just updated the, uh, I just updated the credits. We're going to have to do that again. All right, we got to go to planners. And let's see here. Let's spec this out. So I updated the early rise planters. It started out, the mod was originally this 16 row. And then they updated it and included a smaller version, a 12 row planter. Well, when they did that, they obviously must have changed the name of the 16 row planter. And as such, when I uh, booted up the game, I didn't have it anymore. Max666, welcome to the channel. Thanks for the sub, buddy. We go around applause for Max. So I've got to figure out what kind of uh, options I had on... I don't think I had a rear attacher. Uh, lizard. Yeah, we had wheels. We didn't have the tracks. Wheel bucket scales. Yep. Um. No. Yeah, we had liquid fertilizer. We had side tanks. Uh, did we have the smart box? I don't think we did. I don't think we had the smart box. Cause that's so much, that's a lot of money. Wing options, weights. We definitely had weights on the wings. All right, I think that's pretty much what we had. $264,835. $264,835, right? Again, we have to do this because the bank is going to front us the money. Because when we booted the game up after updating, 264.835. So we got a quick interest free loan. Actually, it's not even a loan, it's really a grant. Oh, come on. What do I want to do? We have the cooler. We didn't have no rear attacher, no number, supplement, supplement bucket, fill scales, yes. Uh, we had weights. And that's what we had, 264,835. <laughs> Just check the finances and just make sure that I didn't do anything funny. 264, 835. 259. Oh, it's because I made some. That's because I paid diesel for some stuff. All right, that's good. That's good. That'll all work. Because we're going to try to double crop some of our fields. We just got some fields harvested. This particular um, planter will allow us to direct seed. So, whoa. So we can direct seed right back in the ground and put that corn in and uh, try to 
double our money. Oh, you got it. You got Stellaris for ten bucks on Steam. Yeah, there's a heck of a lot of Steam sales going on. In fact, all of the uh, all of the Farm Sim DLCs are on sale. Oh, check that out. The uh, the rain cleaned off our windshields. Because our glass was dirty on the way up here. <laughs> oh, you're going to go broke, huh? What kind of games are on your wish list? Quick Street Sims? Now, I'm not overly concerned about our seed and fertilizer we lost. And the bank would be willing to replace that, but we got plenty at the farm. We're just going to use that. I can't believe we lost a whole load of straw. I had a load of straw. Game messed up. Booted back in and it was empty. Oh, that is a full-on victory there. You got all the all the parts you could use and six technicians. Borderlands 3, Roller Coaster, Witcher 3, Truck Sim, yeah, Truck Sim DLCs, uh, ATS and ETS are on sale, $4.99, Valhalla. <laughs> yeah, well, they better be, they better be teaching some youngins. Street Sims. We, we just gave away a copy of F1 2020 yesterday. I'm really looking forward to uh, I'm looking at uh, Forza Horizon 5 when that comes out. Thinking that might be a fun thing to, uh, to bring into the channel. Maybe we'll have Forza Fridays. It's kind of like a, it's like a FPS. Is it story driven? Oh, well, 
I mean, you know, Forza. You know, Forza was made for, for a controller, right? So. Now, I didn't have any issues myself when I was messing around with uh, Forza 4. Yeah, I'm thinking about picking up Forza Horizon 5 and uh, doing some Forza Fridays with some folks in the Discord. And then there is uh, Age of Empires 4. That's coming out in October. Thinking about that one also. That's the that's the type of uh, of game that I really cut my uh, gaming teeth on early. I will be really excited to find out more about the features in Farm Sim 22 come FarmCon. Really curious to know if in the trailer that bag of wheat seed is indicative of anything other than just telling a story. Because if that me if that was a hint that uh, we're gonna have individual bags of seed depending on the crop that we are planting that sounds super cool Fire up our GPS, get it all zoned on in. There we go. Yeah, crop damage, crop disease. That looks all intriguing also. So it'll be really interesting to know if if that is going to be a feature, and maybe just maybe we will find out more from FarmCon 22. Yeah, I got to think that they've got some you know bigger bombs to drop with respect to Farm Sim 22 and and everything that they're holding back for FarmCon. So we are getting fertilized this time.
Yeah, I mean, the guy did spend an awful lot of time in the garage, right? Of course, that again may have been just part of the storytelling process that was the cinematic trailer. Now, I'm not so sure about Car Mechanic Simulator. All of the videos I've seen on Car Mechanic Simulator really just look like point and click, point and click you click you later. You know, I'm a little less, a little less desire to, to have to go around the machine and point and click on all the grease points, for example. But it would be interesting to see a rudimentary, you know, if you don't, if you don't go through the process of doing maintenance on your machine, maybe not actual down to pointing and clicking, but if you don't take it into the workshop and do the maintenance function, then you might have vehicle breakdowns or maybe something just doesn't work right yeah supposedly in 19 if you didn't repair your trackers and such horsepower went down but is it really has anyone really noticed their trackers performing less if they don't do maintenance on it. I've noticed it when you get it down to about quarter life, you know, you'll get a reduced speed. I've definitely seen it with machinery. You know, if you don't, like, if you don't maintain your your slurry applicator, then you're really wasting product because you're you're dumping the same amount in the ground. You're just going slower. Right. Yeah, I noticed it with uh, what was I doing? I think I was planting, and I could only plant at four miles an hour, and I should have been at nine. Yeah, but, I mean, was it repairing the tractor, or was it just repairing the planter? I repaired the tractor, and it hey, brought it Hey, Henry, up. what is up? Welcome to the screen. So yeah, this will make it awful interesting toward the end of uh, end of autumn if this corn matures and we have good weather. Yeah, how was the last winter? Did it come on early or was it just delayed? Oh, I honestly don't remember. I had everything I think done and pulled up in probably early or mid-autumn and then I probably had only jumped on to feed the animals because it looked like spring was going to break early but it didn't it just dug its feet kind of held that ground temp back well Jack P I think well it's hard to say I mean we have production now right so that's going to be all new But I think I think a lot of it is going to be like 19.
But it's hard to say. I mean, if if we have something more than production, right? Because we have seasonal cycles. That's going to be all scripting. That's going to be all new for folks to figure out how to implement seasonal cycles in maps, per se. We've got now production. So it's going to be all new figuring out how the uh, production scripting and functions are being called and and work. I mean, it looks like the texturing of the mods and <laughs> models and such are still using the UDEM stuff. So anything you learn from the transfer of 17 to 19 with respect to UDEM should be fairly easy to carry over. Uh, that should also hold for buildings and other models. Uh, but at the same time, we've got the move to DX12 and the implementation of uh, some of these other graphical and performance improvements. So how much will they affect overall modding? We learned a bit about in the last podcast about the new ground texturing mechanism. So if that's something that has to be coded into the map or into custom ground textures, or if that is more engine based, you know, that's, that's hard to say. We should have a lot more information about modding requirements come FarmCon 22 or 21. And I don't think we're not going to have a problem with the map becoming the river. We're up here on a hill. We're on high land up here. Now the low land down by the compost factory, that's that's in the floodplain for sure. So hopefully we won't have that. thing at the start of the stream is is that I uh, took all the questions that were asked for giants and sent those to giants earlier today so if you put a question in to be asked during FarmCon then your question just might get read off during one of the Q&A sessions at FarmCon next month There were some really good questions being asked, so I'm real eager to hear if uh, if any of those get picked to uh, to be answered during the FarmCon streams. Does anybody know anything about the uh, Lancy Boy map? Has there been any information about that over on Facebook?
Yeah, that one. American Life Farming. It got released on console, what, about two weeks ago at this point. I think it's been in and out of testing a fair bit. Did it get pulled from the consoles? Or I guess from the console store? I think the, the loss of roads has to do with uh, alpine farming, doesn't it? There was a mention of that in the changelog of uh, Missy B's map also. That um, if you didn't have alpine farming activated, you wouldn't see the roads or something. So I don't know if it's if it's like they were trying to utilize an alpine farming road texture or something. To the point that if you didn't have alpine farming, you obviously then didn't have the needed files to uh, to put that road texture in. I don't know, Rabbit Rob. It's 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 kind of hit or miss, right? I mean, the whole concept of a console is is that it's so uh, you know the hardware is fixed. You're working on the same software. You, you, you whittle down the variables to next to none. So why it would have different, you know, interactivity between, you know, one console player and another. Thank you for the super chat. Well done on 25k. Well, thank you very much. Big old round of applause. Bad habit for that super chat. Streamlabs will eventually catch up. There it is. There it is. He finally caught up. I don't know, maybe on maybe on PlayStation you can't actually deactivate a DLC once it's bought. Oh, what is up? Uh, today wasn't too terrible bad at all. Today was pretty good. Had, I basically was able to finish our uh, wonderful Hoff Bergman Explained series. So that series is now done. All those videos have been uploaded and are all scheduled for release. Rodrigo! Rodrigo, welcome to the channel. Thanks for the sub, buddy. Big old round of applause for Rodrigo. Farming Sims, thank you for that. Well, you don't have to not watch me because I play on 
PC, right? It just means that not every map that I put up will be available to you. But I did start recently, in the last uh, several months, including logos of the consoles when I cover a map that is on a console, so that everyone will know. I think it would be super cool. Super cool if, if like, you know, these tanks, if you could see the fill level in the tanks, if you could see the liquid sloshing around in the tank, that would be so super cool. Yeah, and what's really nice is maybe, just maybe crazy things like Hoff Bergman could be possible on Farm Sim 22 for all platforms. That would be really amazing, right? I mean, some of that stuff some of the stuff for PC players, we are, uh, you know, we get used to it. We're like, oh yeah, this does this, this is that. Yeah, it can really boil the mind of uh, console players. But imagine if that can be more commonplace for everybody come FS22 with the inclusion of the production scripting built in. Well, Quick Street, I would recommend Hoff Bergman. It is available over at. We are doing a Hoff Bergman Explain series. And we are basically showing off all of the interesting and unique aspects of that map. Uh, by the time we are all said and done, there's going to be over 30 videos covering things like, I don't know, getting bull semen out of bulls and taking that and inseminating your dairy cattle to uh, basically what you do with dead pig carcasses from the breeding pens to uh, making apple wine, baking bread, just to name a few things, uh, taking actual biogas from a biogas company and bottling it up in bottles, tanks, and selling it to people around town so they can hook them up to their gas grills, right? Yeah, taking, I don't know, taking canola and making oil and then taking your eggs from your ducks and then just making some mayonnaise sticking it in a fridge until you're ready to sell it and then selling some mayonnaise maybe maybe churning some butter right all that's on Hoff Bergman again over at lsfarmingmods.com
I mean, this map's pretty cool. This map you can find over at nexusmods.com. This is a 4X American map. It's got some built-in production elements, like compost, an ethanol plant, the ability to make seed, flour mill, Yeah, all depends on what you're into. But what that also means is now that we are pretty much done with the Hoff Bergman explained videos as far as production, I can get back and start producing and start playing on Nebraska lands again, which in its own right is a very nice American map, a 4X American map based on town in Nebraska. has modest production. There's the ability to make compost, uh, the ability to do some grain drying. There is alfalfa on that map. We're gonna be doing some, hopefully, map testing on a couple American maps coming up soon. DM Modding mentioned to me last week about his Oklahoma map. So, looking forward to having a chance to check that out. CCS 101 is working on his East Coast USA map, which is going to be a 4X map. That will hopefully be in our hands for testing next month. And then, probably in September, maybe maybe mid-August okay sometime around mid-August to September I'm gonna be starting my back to basics gameplay on Felsburn we're gonna go back to the basics we're gonna do a start from scratch gameplay on Felsburn with zero mods well, we might use one or two, but very, very minimal mods, only base game equipment, only DLCs. It's going to remind us 100% what is base game Farm Sim 19 like. And we're going to play that up to the release of Farm Sim 22. That way, when we transition to Farm Sim 22, we will remember exactly how FS19 was at its beginning. So, yeah, that's coming in August, September time frame with, uh, with FS22 scheduled for release you near know, the end of November. That should give us two months of gameplay-ish on uh, on Felsburn. Scooter's Workbench, what is up? Welcome to the screen. As you can see, it is, uh, well, it's an early summer deluge here on the map. We're throwing all caution to the wind and planting in the rain because we can I uh, carry I haven't seen anything about that map I know he asked me for a logo so I assume there's a logo of our channel somewhere
No, it's definitely not a good day to harvest. It started raining about, I don't know, an hour, an hour and 10 minutes ago. I got on, I was able to do three passes with the harvester and then it started to rain. Uh, this is the early riser planter that got the update. We have the 16 row and the update includes a 12 row variant. It looks like the 12 row variant is on the same frame. It just has 12 rows, obviously. It's like, yeah, do you have an umbrella? So we also need to buy a truck. And we were going to wait until the Warrior Plus Plus was in here to buy this truck. Oh, I didn't know I could get it with a sleeper. Sweet. Wait, is this only available as a semi? Uh, okay, flatbed, long bed, hook lift. Holy junk. A little short stubby truck. Look, I got a, I'll get a little Mr. Little Stubby for you. A little stubby. Um So I got corn, soybeans, sunflower, sugar beet. Yep, it lost the ability to do everything. Now we can only plant what plant, plant what planters can plant. Of course, you can always go back in and fix that. You know, keep a copy of the old mod and compare the two XMLs and uh, fixy fixy. one this is uh it's in the mod hub i don't know if you just if you just google or if you just search case in the giants mod hub it should show up demon pro welcome to chat welcome to the stream So we have now planted corn in those two fields. And I gotta decide, do I plant corn in 132? Or do I plant two fields of corn down here? I think I'm just gonna put corn down here because I've already got corn there. That'll put all corn in this batch and that'll put corn down here.
another hot day for you, huh? I tell you, it was pretty warm here today. I don't think it was setting any records, but it was pretty toasty. about this is it's I like all the animations that this thing has on it Conditioning is like a staple over here in the uh, East Coast. Usually, if it's not hot, it's humid. Well, what is up? We were just talking about that East Coast map. Hoping we see it before FS22 drops, right? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Right, GoldenEye? Alright, let's go and... Pop the top on this planter and fill her up. buy a cedar now since we can't can't seed with our wonderful you can use the one I've got it's a great plains if you want See today, we're good. Just that realization that uh, this thing doesn't do all the crops anymore. Yeah, it sucks. Great Plains still does them all. Thirty-five twenty-three. Oh, we got a readout. Oh, that's cool. We got a readout of our seed on the scale there. I wonder if that goes down. I bet you it does.
Well, Golden Eye, you just said it right there. They're not in their right mind, correct? They're in some demented world. like bizarro land all right so trucks back to trucks holy but jesus one hundred forty two thousand dollars are you flipping kidding me a hundred and forty nine that that's ridiculous that's too much money Get one of these for a lot cheaper. We we're looking to replace that truck or, or get a bigger trailer. Oops. And we held back waiting on the Warrior Plus Plus. I didn't think it'd be that expensive. Scooter's Workbench won a, uh, won a heist. Way to go. See, is that? Oh, look at that. The readout goes down as the seeds used. That is cool. Do we have a readout for our liquid? No, just that one. Yeah, it's like maze plus plus plus. I am really, I'm, I'm eager to see, hopefully we'll see in action Farm Sim 22 during FarmCon and see this new ground uh, system. I'm really eager to see that happen. points uh, we don't see the fan oh, we gotta follow the uh... I mean, there's an air compressor where's the blower Probably right there. Oh, there's a there's a fan right there.
Eh, we'll zoom out. That thing gets annoying. So, Mack Truck is in the game for sure. Is that the first... That's, that's the first time we've had an American-branded truck in-game, right? Well, technically, Patrick, there is a month and three days difference. But, yeah, it's like Christmas in November, eh? Hey, I'm Santa Canadian. Well, there's there's some there's some rumor, road train. There's some rumor that there might be a Mac Anthem DLC that's not been announced. I saw a screen grab from a online retailer that basically listed not just the bonus what is the bonus what is the pre-order bonus I, I've, I've gone and forgotten what the pre-order bonus is oh let me look Klaus that pack thing Oh, the Cloth Zerion Saddle Track. So, in addition to the Cloth Zerion Saddle Track pre order bonus, there was an online retailer that listed a Mac Anthem DLC. So, it's possible that that might be also available to pre order. Or it might be a uh, an early paid DLC. Who knows? What do we get? A Mack truck and maybe some some trailers. Now, this is not official in any way. It's just some random scuttlebutt that I saw posted that had kind of some text at the bottom said something about Mac Anthem DLC. Uh, we, we've got more Kinsey in the game, yes. So when I when I did that video, I had forgotten that Kinsey grain carts were in uh, the game. But yeah, there's going to be more Kinsey. Scuttlebutt, rumor mill, kind of talk around the uh, water cooler. Bex, what is up? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, some trucks have had have two shifters. I think it's like a high range, low range, and then a shifter. And you basically have to uh, manipulate both shifters in order to. Uh, Get up through the get up through the gears. Yeah, because that's totally safe, right, Carrie?
I've seen some videos of uh, of folks working that type of a arrangement. Carrie, what is up? That is just, you're full of it today. go. Tristan the man, welcome to the stream. Patrick, thank you for joining the channel with your sub. Big old round of applause for Patrick. Sub into the channel. I know sometimes it can be, it can be quite scary to, uh, to commit and hit that sub button, but boy, did we appreciate it. Darren, welcome. How's it been up there in the great north? Oh, did I make a billboard? I don't know. I haven't seen it yet. He asked me for a graphic. I sent him a graphic. He said he was going to send me a photo when he was done. Guess he forgot. Well, it's all good. It's all good, Patrick. You have marched us one step closer to 26,000. Yeah, DM Modding asked me last week for a graphic. So I uh, sent him a logo. And uh, he said he was going to do something up on the map. He said he was going to shoot me a uh, an image when he was done. I didn't hear anything back. Apparently he forgot. Oh, the map can be a little laggy for sure. I mean, it, hopefully it's coming across fairly well for you guys. Really, it depends on which direction you're viewing. Your frame rate. Let's go ahead and pull that up. I mean, <laughs> it says I'm getting 18 frames right now, but it's it's a fairly smooth 18 frames, right? And now we're up to 52. Depends on where we look. Of course, the rain isn't helping. Right. Look, you need a you need a logo. Will's logo is a giant W. So frames are 
frames are one thing, but it's your it's your um, frame time lag to use fancy fancy tech tuber talk. You can have low frames, but if you have very consistent low frames, then it's not so bad. You can have high frames, but then have some really bad frames. And it looks worse than if you have steady frame count all the way across. So yeah, I mean, it's gonna depend on your settings, your graphics card, and other such things but um yeah i mean if you're a if you're a 60 fps snob then you're not going to play the map because you're not going to get 60. if uh yeah if you don't care i mean shoot i'm sure the guys on the server here there's probably some folks that are getting like teens But again, it all depends on your settings. I'm playing at custom ultra high with uh, 1440p resolution. I mean, if I knocked it back to 1080, it would be a little faster. Uh, if I knocked my visual settings down to medium, it would probably be a little faster. Yeah, Road Train, there's some 60 FPS snobs out there that will... Uh, They'll comment on videos. Do, do you get 60 frames, or I don't? I don't get 60 frames. I only get 53. I don't play maps unless I get a steady 60. Okay, it's, that's on you. That's on you. But yeah, I think the uh, the frames on this map are, I think, due to how he's got the the trees set up and possibly even the water. Yeah, when we look north, we get a lot worse frames than when we look south. I can tell when I pan that it starts to get a little jerky right around here and then it smooths out as we get back around now when we move into farm sim 22 with some of its improvements with respect to DX12 then hopefully we won't have issues like that because of some of the visual things that are going to be used we're going to go from having a clip distance to basically having intelligence of knowing I only need to render what I can see I don't need to render the trees on the other side of the hill because I can't see the other side of the hill I don't need to render the trees behind me because I'm not looking there Whereas right now the game engine is rendering everything within a bubble, within a circle of the vehicle. And the larger that circle is, then the more it's got to render all the time. So two more passes, and then we're going to be done our summer corn planting. We'll buy a truck and haul some compost, make some money. Yep, is it is the cat? It's Schrodinger's cat. 
Is the cat in the box dead, alive? Maybe it's not even there. Cat is in the box and not in the box at the same time until you look. Delilah, welcome to the stream. No, you can't tap on it. You can't open it. You can't pick it up. So therefore, the cat is in all possible states at the same time. It's dead, alive. It exists, it doesn't exist. There's no cat in the box until you open the lid and see that there's a cat in the box. Did actually opening the lid cause the cat to be in the box? Well, it's never a dog. I mean, that'd be stupid. Why would you put a dog in a box? Why would you even have a dog? We, we didn't see uh, we didn't see the dog in the farm sim 22 trailer maybe maybe that means the farmers gotten rid of the dog I need to go back and watch the FS 19 trailer. And then watch the, uh, I need to watch the FS-19 trailer. And then watch the 22 trailer. I want to see if the, uh, I want to see if the dude in the 22 trailer, the dad, I want to see if the dad has any resemblance to the FS-19 farmer. I think that would I think that would tell a cool story if he did. That uh, FS22 is the uh, yeah the next generational transition. Let's park this here and let the rain do its thing. Make it rain. Uh, you know what? We get it. We get it without fenders. You can use my TLX if you want. Oh, uh, we need to. Re oh, we need to replace our. We need to get big trailer anyway. Double plate. So where are these plates at? Oh, in front. We're not in Texas. We're not in Nebraska. Oh, lighting. Oh, 
Oh, the engine. That's good. Need extra tanks? No. Yeah, let's give us some short straight pipes. All right, that's good. What? Oh my gosh, a hundred thousand dollars down the drain. Oh, we established these are over here, right? Where is that? Uh... I really wish these colors were in the same order. Just wish they were in the same order. Yeah, I would. And we have our new truck. Dominic, what is up? Oh, look at that. Who doesn't love a real car? All right, let's go make some money. Let's go make some money. Dominic, thank you for the sub. Everybody give me a round of applause. Dominic. Oh, this is a TLX 9000 rigid. Guess what? It is available over at your favorite mod shop, FarmingSimulator.com. Now it's got a uh, long nose variant, the Phoenix, that uh, came out a little bit ago. This is a TLX 9000 rigid. Can I adjust the mirrors? Let's left click here. I don't know what that's doing. No, I can't adjust the mirrors. Rabbit Rob! Thank you for the super sticker!
I know, I see that. Make no, way! Actually, you guys stay right in the middle of the road, you'd be alright. Make way! If I stay in the field, I might get run over. <laughs> oh, I know, pretty good. It's not the fastest, it's only 52 miles an hour. David, this is indeed a 4X map. You need the upgraded engine. It'll go 83. Don't uh, tell him. <laughs> I teased out. That was supposed to be a secret. Standard. Question is, can this thing catch air? Probably not at 52. But I can confirm that it will catch air. Probably could also confirm that if you have a full load, it doesn't stop nearly as fast as when it's empty. <laughs> nope, and then it'll still catch air. <laughs> Stand on the brakes. Gotta hit one of those guardrails just right. Oh, whoa. Oh, apparently I can open the door. Uh, see these are uh, these are air brakes. You throw the doors open to uh, to deflect the air. Yeah, he's got a TLX 9000 semi, and then he has a rigid. And we're going to try to catch some air. Wow, too. I might have to get off the push 
That's a safe and sane truck. That's perfect for you. This motor. He's a big boy. She just can't jump. That's okay. When we feel like catching air, we got our truck. We got our pickup. So twenty thousand dollars a load. That ain't too terrible bad.
think what would be the uh, most exciting feature so far is uh, probably uh, the production elements. Yeah, I mean... We, uh... Oh, autosave. Yeah, the mic should be, uh... There's no danglies. Where's my dangly bits? I gotta get ATS to get my dangly bits. I love any tarp that isn't just a snap tarp. Right, that's why I like that overloading part so much. Uh, is the production elements on Farm Sim 22? That's what makes me most excited so far. The ability for the player to kind of tap out at any point they want in the process. So they could tap out at just taking crop to the uh, to the mill or they could elect to continue the process and take the flour to the bakery and they could tap out there or they could decide to further that and take the bread to a farmer's market or grocery store to, uh, to ultimately get the best profits by basically moving your product all the way through the production chain and what that means is you know we can kick to the curb global company we don't need an add-on mod for production capabilities and that then means that uh, there'll be more um, there'll be more uh, commonality between console players and PC players. Uh, David, from what they say, they have it's all their own code. Same with seasonal cycles, it's all it's all their code. train it depends on who I talk to for example I went yes uh, Friday Friday I went to a local farmer and picked up 200 plus pounds of beef while he doesn't butcher the beef those are his cows that he took off to the butcher he sold the beef to me I bought it from him, so that's just the same as uh, as a production element in the game where I grow beef cattle, raise beef cattle, I send them off to be processed, and then I sell that processed meat. Or we have a uh, we have a farmer in our Discord that works at a dairy farm in New Hampshire that uh, has a functional BGA basically on their farm that produces methane gas that they use to power not only the farm but also their milk bottling company and ice cream company that they make chocolate milk and other bottled milk products from their milk and sell that as well as sell ice cream from again their milk that is a real farm so it depends on what farmer you ask 
Jay, sir. Thank you for re-upping. Re-upping your subscription. Big old round of applause. So I could, uh, I could rant alert on my own. We could trade rants all day. by a, uh, well, there's a local there's a local dairy that I pass every day I go to work. And that local dairy uh, built a new building two years ago. It's a creamery. They, uh, guess what? They sell various products made from their milk at their uh, creamery right on their farm. So while a farmer might not own an actual grain mill, there are farming co-ops that a farmer might buy into that owns a grain mill that the farmers in that co-op can take their grain to to be refined. Patrick, thanks for joining the channel as a farm baron. Big old round of applause, Patrick. Welcome to the channel as a member. You will now see a whole boatload of unreleased videos in the community tab. Available to members only. Those are all of the remaining Hoff Bergman explained videos so the production elements in 22 I think are going to be received by a very large group of players positively and for the players that don't want to do it they can tap out they can just sell their grain go off and be fine but the same players that have this in intense nature of having to maximize their profits are going to be conflicted because they're not going to get the maximum profits from just selling their grain. And I think those are the ones that are going to be most angry. But really, they're going to be most angry at themselves because they have to maximize their profits, but they also can't give it to themselves to take their product from one point to the next point to the next. You know, seasonal cycles was interesting. You know, that was exciting, but that was a, that was a very early announcement, right? So you had to think, if they're willing to announce that now, they've got to have something a lot bigger. You know, you don't want to, you don't want to blow your cherry on the first, their first day, right? Yeah, angry farmers. All right, Diesel, do I need to pick up that manure, or you got it? No, I got it. I'm just dropping the last 5,000 liters off right now. Oh, okay. Trying to time it so you're at that down there selling when I'm over here unloading. Uh, I'm going to come back. <laughs> it's for safety reasons? Yeah. Yeah, it's, a, <laughs> it's an OSHA thing. Never, double DZ, what's up? Never heard of Pop Your Cherry. 
Yeah, you don't want to... You don't want to lead out the gate with your best thing. You gotta tease it out. You tease it out by... Uh, you give him a little bit of a carrot. And they, they get excited about the little carrot. And then a little later you tease out another carrot. That's a little bit more appetizing. So see, seasonal cycles was that first little carrot. Production chains was that second little carrot. What's what's the big carrot? What's the big thing they're holding? They're holding back. Hopefully we'll find that out. Farm con. Question. Can I get the, can I get under the pipe? I don't think so. It's okay, I got the other friend. I mean, we've seen screenshots. We've seen screenshots of a farmer skipping rows, right? We've seen... Uh, we saw in the trailer at the end they were skipping rows is that are those hints that we're gonna see uh, some sort of GPS or uh, lane lane management That is the question. Well, we, we've seen in-game screenshots. We've seen plenty of in-game screenshots, and one of them included basically an image of the helper skipping rows. The only thing that was CG was the trailer. this over here. Spectre, welcome back. there shut that down yeah they showed lane they showed that in the cgi and they showed it here let me pull it up uh, right here So you can see right there, 
cultivation, nothing. Over here, cultivated, cultivated, nothing, cultivated, nothing, cultivated. So there is a screenshot on the American map. We've got lane, work, no work, work, no work, work. So there's lane management right here in this screenshot. Those are all images that were released back in early June. Rez, what is up? We are, guess what? Just about done. The fact that it's raining, we really don't have much to do. Go ahead and top off our critters. It appears to be something. Some sort of lane and management. Because we saw that and we saw it in the trailer. off from earlier today. So we'll go ahead and dump this back. They're doing it. All right, that's about it. All right, guys, so tomorrow at 7 a.m., my time, we're going to have a new Hoff Bregman Explained. We're going to learn about compost. And we're going to get a correction because I was wrong. Oh, my gosh, it's Alien Jim. Everyone, round of applause. He's here. He made it. Or just do explanation discord it'll come up let's go in here see if it's see if it's any quieter no it's not any quieter um what were we gonna say oh compost uh, I made it I need to state a correction and I stated it in the video that apparently in the latest iteration of Hoff Bergman. Animal carcasses are not uh, components of compost. So in that video, I list the 25 different components that make up compost. And uh, yeah, animal carcasses are not one of those. So unlike when I try to take those two pig carcasses and put them in the compost heap, that's why they didn't just change the biomass. But uh, also in the community YouTube channel, there is a listing of all of the remaining Hoff Bergman Explained videos that are to be coming out in the next week or so. So go check that out also. It's a good thing, but now I got to go and uh, redo my credits because we've got ourselves some new... Uh, farm barons and farm bosses so until next time guys happy farming <laughs>